So today I want to talk about um, I want to talk about about um, lower cervical upper thoracic pain in a differential diagnosis. It wasn't until it wasn't until I had this issue that I truly understood what this was, and it, it can be kind of confusing. Um, <clears throat> so sometimes pa patients come in and they 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 have pain like down in down in here, okay? They have pain down in here, but it's not it's not like it actually is not their thoracic. It's actually their cervical, and it's referred pain from their cervical down into their thoracic. And a lot of times what happens, and it happens to me when I get stressed out, one side of your neck like locks down, okay? So when you turn your head, like you turn your head, it's, it's locked to one side versus you have like full, full range this side, right? But you get kind of locked down and it feels like all like jammed up back in here, okay? And, but they feel pain like down into here, but there's nothing really wrong there. It's not the rhomboid, it's not a rhomboid spasm. It's usually not a stuck rib, you know? It's a, it's, what it typically is, is, um, is this like this like this locking of the facets as a, in the in the the lower cervical spine? So what I do, I'll show you how I unlock it. Annette, would you mind coming in for a second? So let me see if I can bring this down. All right, all right. If you can hop up on your back for me, please. Hopefully that doesn't fall. This is Annette. Everybody, wave. <laughs> All right, so what I do is um, is I, I take my, my hands and then I, you gotta like go like, like deep down into the thoracic, like, like, like way down in here, not up here so much, way down in here. And then I, I kind of right along the facet joint, I kind of dig in and pull up and then rotate as I like kind of move her head. So I'm like mobilization with movement, but I'm like, I'm down in the thoracic. So I'm like down in here, and then I'm, 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 I'm pushing up kind of hard. It can be kind of uncomfortable. And right alongside the spinous process, and I, t I usually take like this, like this part of my hand right here, and I'm like pulling up this way and like going like that, like that, like a scooping type thing. So I come like this, and then I go like, like that. And you gotta get in deep. And the more you do joint moves, the more you can kind of feel a springing down in there. And you'll know you got it because they'll be able to turn their head and they won't, they'll have more range of motion and they won't feel like stuck in the, in the, um, in the thoracic there. So I go like this and I kind of dig in with this part of my hand, grip the facet, okay, up and then rotate, up and then I move up one vertebrae and then rotate, kind of a mobilization with movement, thank you. So this is super, um, super easy to get, you know, people, <clears throat> sometimes when people have this, they start strengthening like the muscles around it, and that honestly doesn't do too much. The issue is not that it's a strengthening issue, it's just kind of locked down. And it happens with stress. And I see it a lot. Um, women, I find, hold their stress more in their, um, in their cervical versus men more in their back. I see women all the time in here, at least two, three times a week, and they just like have rock solid necks. They hold their stress up here. Um, and um, so anyways, a lot of times they get locked down like this, but it definitely happened to me, it can happen to men too. So, um, so, uh, so when somebody has pain there, okay, down in here, don't automatically think it's a thoracic issue. It could be a cervical issue, okay? So have them rotate, check their range. If they're like this, you know, if they're like this to one side, but this to the other side, then they're probably locked down in here, you know, up in the, in the lower thoracic there. So check that, unlock it. You'll know when you get it, you gotta push in deep and it can be kind of uncomfortable. You know, but, um, and if you can do manipulations, that'll probably work. I don't care what anybody says. I don't do, I, I can't do that in my state anyways, but I don't do the, you know, I don't like, I would never let that happen to my neck. Um, getting uh, rotated just intuitively, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But um, I see people in here that I've had that done to them and they had strokes and stuff like that. So I don't care what anybody says about the research. Research is usually, you know, whatever in the beginning. So um, I would never let, let that down, but definitely down in the lower is fine. If you can manipulate lower cervical, you know, you can kind of, um, kind of, you know, manipulate it that way if you can in your state. So anyways, that's that. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and uh, my mom's here from out of town. So I am going to lunch with her. So anyways, peace. Have a good one.